Anna, welcome. No updates on the journals yet. Actually, that's not what I'm here to discuss. Did something happen? My boss wants me to write an article about Vanessa's murder. He wants me to take photos at the crime scene. No. End of discussion. No crime scene photos in private residences. Those are the rules. Nothing. Personal? Understood. Here, have a look at this. Great. I found the poem, The Paranoid. The Paranoid. Before my madness and garish delusion, I'll press your words, and you'll melt my schizophrenic fragmentation. That poem went right over my head. Was it found at another murder site? No new murders. This was printed in your paper, the ad section. Some loser poet looking for a publisher. I'll ask Sven who placed this ad. I doubt our killer gave away their identity to buy a newspaper ad, but we have to check. Who knows? It may give us new leads. Any news on Dr. Kranz's patients? Not much. Uli interviewed the hospital patients. Let's get him in here. One second. Uli! You called, Lieutenant? Tell us about Dr. Kranz's patients. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Kranz, okay. I questioned every patient who saw the doctor that day. Unfortunately, they all have alibis. None were in the hospital when the murder took place. There have been large crowds in the hospital over the last few days. The pneumonia epidemic is to blame. So the killer may have snuck into the crowd and out of the hospital unnoticed. You did a good job, Uli. Thank you. One more thing, Lieutenant. I don't know if this is connected to the case, okay? Spit it out and we'll decide. One of Dr. Kranz's patients was Iris Kniff. But her last visit was a month ago, so I wasn't sure if that detail was important. Thank you. You can go. Uli is a very smart constable. Yes, but too unsure of himself. What do you think about Iris and Dr. Krantz? Dr. Krantz was a well-known specialist. It could be just a coincidence. I'll ask her about it the next time I see her. So, back to my earlier request. How about if I just took one photo? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Take photos of her apartment building. I don't care. Don't ask me again. Of course. Sorry to bother you. You're doing your job. It was out of line for me to ask. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. I have a deadline this afternoon. No crime scene shots. Just take a picture of Vanessa's building. What should I do now? I need that photo for the article. Maybe there's a key to Vanessa's apartment in forensics. I should talk to Dirk. Hello, Dirk. How's the lab today? Did you work on the fingerprints from the box of journals? Nice to see you. I'm very busy right now. Nothing new to report on the journals. Would you like some help? I would appreciate that, actually. Give it a shot. There we go. This one belongs to Dr. Kranz. Same for all of them, right? Forensics. One moment. Anna, I need to deliver some research on another case. Don't worry about me. Deliver your research.
back in a few minutes. This is my chance to find Vanessa's apartment key. Vanessa's apartment key. My apologies, it took longer than I expected. That's fine. Unfortunately, I haven't found any new fingerprints. Well, I should get going. I have a deadline coming up. Oh, of course. Thanks for your help. Good luck with your article. Need a key. Think, Anna. Think. Surely there's something I missed last time I was here. I found a university photo. Iris, Ruben, and Vanessa. They look like friends all together in this photo. I wonder what happened to their friendship. I should take a few photos. Now to take one more photo from the outside, just in case. Now I can go back and write the article. Okay, time to focus and write my article.
the draft of the article is finished. I hope the photos turned out well. The crime scene photo will make the article a hit with readers, but Judith will be furious with me if we print it. This is tough. Which one should I choose? All right, I made my decision. Now to bring Sven the article. Where's my article, Anna? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Good. Wait, is that all? I mean, it's an intriguing start. But why do we have so little to go on after four days? Who are the suspects? What's the motive? Are you making progress or spinning your wheels? I'm trying not to jump to conclusions. False accusations can destroy someone's life and get us sued for libel. I get your point, but we need to move things along. Time is money and the paper can't afford to waste either. I understand. One more thing. I wanted to ask about this strange advertisement that ran recently. You wanted to show me an ad in a recent edition. Do you recognize it? Of course. I oversee all aspects of the paper. Do you know who bought the advertisement? Can you give me their contact information? We received a letter with money inside asking us to post the ad. The buyer was anonymous. It happens more often than you'd imagine. Why do you ask? There's a connection between the poem and the Dada murders. I've got two more just like it. Really? We'll put that in your next article. <laughs> Once again, we're at the center of the mystery. Absolutely not. That's what the killer wants. I won't give them the satisfaction. Let's discuss it later. Keep me posted. That's enough for today, Anna. What should I do with this photo of Iris and Vanessa? I can't show it to you, did. She'll ask where I got it from. I should ask Iris or Ruben about the photo myself. No one's here. I'll check Iris's office. Iris isn't around either. I might as well look around a little. found Vanessa's letter. A letter from Vanessa! So they did know each other. This cinches it. Oh my! Vanessa was furious with Iris. 
Your exhibition will be an object of ridicule after my review in Oritagas. Security guards? Good evening. Is there anybody still in the building? No. Miss Kniff and Monsieur Lefebvre have already left, and I have the key to the back door. You can close the gallery. Good night. Good night, ma'am. is very bad. I'll be in enormous trouble if someone catches me here. <laughs> <laughs>